YouTube and welcome back to another vlog. I know I look a little crazy right now, more on that later, but this vlog is going to be very exciting because I am going to be taking you through the next two days, today and tomorrow. Today is my final walkthrough of the new house, which means this is when I'm going to just check that they perfected everything and that the house is 100% perfect and done and complete and ready to close and ready to move into this is the official day today is the official day that my house is officially done well fingers crossed i still have to go check hopefully there's nothing left there's no mistakes or anything like that but i'm gonna go check and then tomorrow tomorrow i cannot believe it's already tomorrow is closing day which is when i sign all the paperwork and i pay the down payment and they give me the keys to the house so i'm super excited about today and tomorrow these are just like the finishing last steps before i can actually move in so yeah obviously i'm really excited but the reason why i've got you guys looking into my mirror in my bathroom and why i got my hair cornrowed like this is because first i need to get ready for the day today before I go and do the final walkthrough of the house. And shout out to RPG Show Wigs for sponsoring this video and hooking your girl up with a brand new wig. In case you guys don't know, RPG Show is like my favorite wig company. I've been working with them for a super long time. I've had so many wigs from them. I pretty much almost only wear their wigs. I love them. I think they're super high quality. They have a lot to choose from on their website. Their wigs come in this nice box that I just showed you guys. And then they also come in this little carrying case, which is super handy. But yeah, I just wanted to start off this vlog by showing you guys this wig and how I'm gonna install it to get ready for the day. You know, I have to look cute for closing. You know, I'm about to become an official homeowner. I have to have my hair laid. I have to, you know, look the part. When they give me the keys to my house, I'm definitely gonna want to like take a picture so you know had to get a new wig so this wig is the style anthony cuts 036 it is a silky texture 14 inches it's a custom blonde color it's 200 percent density and this wig actually has tinted transparent swiss lace so the thing about this tinted transparent swiss lace is that it is their thinnest lace yet the string that it's made out of is super thin super invisible so it just blends into the skin and you won't be able to to see it as much so yeah you guys can see that the knots are not bleached but the lace is really really thin really transparent like you can literally barely see it there's also an elastic band already added into this wig which is new I haven't had a wig from them that has this yet so I'll be trying this little extra elastic band out for the first time today as well so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of just try this on just to see what the length and the color looks like on me because i'm just pulling this out of the box <laughs> so of course it looks crazy the hair is all bent up from being in the box but just to kind of show you guys <laughs> the length of it and the color of it so you guys can see the lace how it just blends into the skin this is how the hairline comes so you can see it's already kind of thinned out towards the front it already kind of has that natural jagged shape to it so it's not just like a harsh thick line up here the wig does kind of go like more straight across so this is mainly where i'm going to be plucking just to make this a little bit more jagged and just to customize it to my exact like head shape so i'm just going to quickly speed through the process of putting on this wig i do already have dedicated videos on how i install my wigs so if you guys do want a more detailed tutorial you can go check those videos out i will link them down below for you guys but i also wanted to let y'all know that rpg show is having an anniversary sale right now they've been in business for 12 years so it is their 12th anniversary sale you guys can get 80 dollars off your order with the code that that you see on the screen right now. I will also be putting the code and all of the sale information and the link to this wig that I'm showing in this video down in the description box below as well. So all the info will be down there. Definitely check it out. If you guys have been thinking about getting a wig from RPG Show, now is a really good time to get one.
guys, I literally had to run out of the door. I did not realize what time it was. I was just getting so into installing my wig and trying to make it perfect. I'm running late now, so I am trying to hurry up and head on over to the house so I can do this final walkthrough. I didn't really get to finish like fully laying and styling my wig, but you guys can kind of somewhat see the main idea. It's very similar, admittedly. <laughs> it's very, very similar to another wig that I already have. I think it might be the same exact one, and I didn't realize that it was the same exact one, but since it is really similar to something I already have, I might actually end up dying this one like a fun color i keep wanting to do pink or purple or blue you guys comment down below what hair color like what if you had to pick like a fun summer hair color for me would you do pink purple or like a really light blue and i'm gonna be wearing this wig for the rest of this vlog because i'm gonna keep it on for tomorrow as well so you guys will kind of get to see more views of it oh i'm nervous because this is like cutting it really close. Normally you're supposed to have your final walkthrough like a week before closing. I'm having it the day before closing. So I am leaving zero time in between for anything to go wrong. So if anything is wrong with the house right now, I'm kind of screwed and it's kind of gonna mess up my whole plan in terms of closing tomorrow and moving forward with moving in and just everything that I already have planned. So the house needs to be perfect. Like when I step foot in the house right now, it needs to be perfect. Like we have no space for error right now. You never know, things always pop up. So anyway, fingers crossed. I'm just gonna think positive, think positive. It's gonna be perfect. It is perfect. It already is perfect. I'm putting it on the universe. The house is perfect. We're not gonna have any problems. Everything is gonna look amazing. And we're just gonna move right on to closing tomorrow. We're gonna get the key to the house we're gonna move in everything is gonna be fabulous easy smooth no issues okay so just got done with the final walkthrough unfortunately there was still quite a few things that were unfinished or needed to be fixed or needed to be touched up mainly painting trim cleanup just basic cosmetic stuff nothing major i think the biggest project that still needed to be done was that they were like resurfacing um some of the concrete areas but other than that all the interior stuff was just like touching up the paint and touching up the trim and making sure everything looks all straight and clean and nice and pretty so unfortunately when i walked in there there was still tape everywhere marking everything that was not done yet or still needed to be redone and all the workers were in there cleaning and painting and like I said, doing the concrete. So they still have a very full day of work ahead of them today to get everything done by the end of the day. But my um, project manager promised me that pretty much everything would be done by the end of the day. And tomorrow morning, they're gonna have a cleaning crew come in there and make it spotless. And then right after that, we are supposed to be, or I'm supposed to be um, closing. So we're literally like cutting it so close. Literally the morning of closing is when I'll be able to check and see if everything is done. Now I came to my mom's house, which by the way, the, the walkthrough started at 1 p.m. It wasn't done till 3 p.m. So it was two hours of us painstakingly, well my mom especially, painstakingly looking at everything and making sure everything was gonna be done. So that was a, a process and I have a headache from all the paint fumes that were in there. But anyway, I came to my mom's house because now we basically need to have a business meeting. You guys know my mom is my momager. We need to have a business meeting, conference call, stuff for work. But yeah, long story short, the house is not done, but it's gonna be done by the end of the day. No, actually, you know what, it, it is. Like I said, manifesting. It is going to be done by the end of the day and it is going to be spotless by tomorrow morning. And we are going to close tomorrow and everything is gonna be wonderful and beautiful. <laughs> My mom is stressed out. Y'all have to see how Chef Tony is in serious situations. She don't play games. <laughs> <laughs> She's so stressed, she got a Sharpie on her shirt. She was in there with her Sharpies, her packet, her um, little, those little tab color-coded, everything was color-coded. She was like, not. I'm not gonna say she was yelling at the 
project manager and the construction people, but she was being very, very firm. This is something that's kind of hard for me because I'm so socially awkward and non-confrontational. It's hard for me to like tell people like, do it like this, it has to be right. Like no, da 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 da, cause I just like, I'm like, oh, I guess it's good enough. So my mom is stepping in as my, <laughs> I don't know, be firm advocate. person. Adv advocate. My advocate to help me tell the people to do their job right. All right, so I just left my mom's house after having about two hours worth of business discussions, conference calls, not only were we um, talking with my man, my talent, my talent agent, I guess you would call it, who helps with all of my brand deals and sponsorships. We had a call with her to just go over my calendar and all this stuff for, you know, YouTube related work. But we also, me and my mom talked about just everything with the house, making sure that all loose ends are tied up, making sure that things are scheduled and planned and making our plan for tomorrow. So the plan is number one, I gotta leave Zaya with my grandma because Zaya doesn't have school tomorrow so first thing in the morning I'm gonna leave Zaya with my grandma then I'm gonna go to the new house check on the new house make sure that it is at a hundred percent and everything like I said assuming that the house is good then we're gonna go to the actual meeting the closing meeting to close on the house get the keys all that fun stuff make everything official and then I'm looking at my phone because I literally had to write out a list for tomorrow of how tomorrow is gonna go so my closing meeting is at 11 a.m. and then I'm gonna go back to pick up Zaya from my grandma after closing because my grandma can't keep him for that long then I need to go to a couple furniture stores because I need to go ahead and order there's a lot of stuff that I still need to order for the house in terms of furniture there's so like I've barely ordered anything honestly if I'm being honest I've barely ordered anything in terms of furniture for the house there's a lot of stuff that I need to go ahead and order so I need to go to multiple furniture stores I also have my older brother because like I said he has a moving company so he has a moving truck he is going to be going to two different lighting stores that I ordered I had already ordered these giant light fixtures for my house but they're too big to fit in a normal car so I have to get my brother to take his moving truck to go to two different lighting stores to pick up the lights that I ordered so he'll be doing that while I'm at the other furniture stores ordering furniture. There's just so much going on. Also, on top of that, my little sister Maya is coming home for the summer. You guys know she goes to school in Georgia, but she is flying in tomorrow. So at some point, we're picking her up from the airport. And then also after that, for Father's Day, we kind of celebrated Father's Day on actual Father's Day, but we didn't get to fully celebrate it because we had bought my dad a really nice smoker, but it was raining, so he didn't get to use the smoker like he wanted to. So he wants to have a kind of Father's Day dinner tomorrow. So it's gonna double as kind of like a Father's Day dinner slash celebrating me actually closing on my house. So my family's gonna get together um, tomorrow for dinner as well. So tomorrow is gonna be a long day. Um, that is basically what the rest of this vlog is going to consist of. Anyways, I just pulled up at Zai's school, so I'm gonna go pick her up and then figure out what to do for dinner, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Did you have fun at school? Uh -uh. You didn't. Uh -uh. Yes, you did. I just asked you and you said yes. Come on, put your shoes on. Zaya gets so dirty at school because they get down and dirty outside. So going anywhere straight from school is asking for people to judge me. Like, why is your child so dirty? Do you not take care of your child? <laughs> We're going to Tropical Smoothie Cafe, my new obsession. Like Butterbean Cafe. It's like Butterbean Cafe? Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, have a good day. Here's your little smoothie. Strawberry banana. <laughs> like this. You need help with the straw? You got it? You need help. Here, hold it down. You're gonna eat your quesadilla too? And your banana? I got the Chipotle chicken club. All right, just pulled up to Walmart. We just ate at um, Tropical Tropical Cafe, whatever it's called. Had our little dinner and our smoothies. And I uh, just pulled up to Walmart because I need to get a few random things, some stuff to help me pack, because I still have a lot of packing to do, and just some random stuff for Zaya and stuff like that. You know, we're Team Walmart now. <laughs> you know, I still love Target, but we're kind of like Team Walmart now because Walmart loves me on Twitter, you guys. I don't know if you've heard, but it's kind of a big deal. Where are we? At Walmart. 
Walmart. Do you like Walmart? And Target too. And Target too. Zaya grows out of her shoes. Oh my God, she's so dirty from school. She grows out of her shoes so fast though. So I'm coming to Walmart to just get some little cheap summer shoes, stuff that she can get dirty at school, wear to the pool, whatever. But they really don't have a good variety. I thought they were gonna have like sandals and flip flops and stuff, but they really only have these jellies. They got some baby sandals. Like these are really cute, but they only come in baby sizes and I have Zaya size. Unless I'm looking in the wrong spot. Maybe it's on the other side. You need some sandals. Are those comfortable? Oh, I found all of the little girl sandals. They were over here on the other aisle. I'm not used to having to come over to the actual like girl side because her shoe size is not with the baby stuff anymore. That's why. Zaya, you're getting too big. Your shoes are with like big girl shoes now. No, no more baby aisle. No. That's crazy. You wear big girl shoes now? Yes! For any moms out there that wear a size seven and a half, eight, which means you can wear a size six in kids, there's a lot of mommy and me shoe opportunities at Walmart because they have the, the little girl sizes and they have the big little girl sizes up to size six. <laughs> these are not that cute on me. Like these sparkly Birkenstock looking ones with the little extra strap for the little girls. So I can get these for Zaya. And then they have these in the bigger girls sizes go up to size six see again these are not that cute on my foot but just an idea if you want to get matching shoes with your toddler or baby it is almost 8 p.m although the sun is still blazing and my phone is on two percent and i am tired but zaya really wants to go to the pool we just got like some new sandals and stuff at walmart so Think that made her kind of want to go to the pool. I actually also got a little swimsuit from Walmart just because I have a lot of swimsuits, but they're more on the skimpier, sexy side. So when I'm just taking Zaya to the pool, I kind of feel weird wearing my special swimsuits. I needed something a little bit more plain, and hopefully, this is a little bit more modest. And they do give me a little more coverage in the back than most of my other bottoms have. So I feel like this is a nice, semi appropriate mom swimsuit you know good job kick 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 use your arms Okay, so we're just leaving the new house. We came back this morning to double check everything. Like I keep saying, you know, just making sure and making sure and making sure and making sure that all the little tiny finishing touches are perfect. Um, they were not <laughs> yet again when we got there. They were still working on it. Cleaning crew was in there. Touch up crew was in there. Uh, everybody was in there racing around trying to make sure things were done. We were just going over our list, just making sure that they're gonna get everything perfect. We waited there for a while and saw that they were starting to actually like finish up. They weren't 100% done when we walked out of there, but we're trusting them. They were like 99.9% .9 done. So we're trusting them to get that last little percentage done. And we're just gonna go ahead and continue on with closing. Technically, the you know, advice to you guys, you're not supposed to close until the house is 100%. But my house is 99.9%, .9%, so we're just gonna go ahead and do it. And I am literally about to walk in to my closing meeting right now. Late. Uh, yeah, it's 11.07. My meeting was at 11, but we were over at the house trying to make sure they were gonna get done. Uh, so it's not our fault. This is, this is it. You ready to sign your life away. I'm about to sign my life away pay this money and get these keys and then I can officially 
call this house mine and then the whole other stress starts of fun don't say stress say it's fun fun the fun starts of actually furnishing and everything else inside the house but i'm excited to get the keys to the house and yeah so here goes nothing okay the deed is done I signed my life away. I just got back from the closing meeting. Basically just signed a million pieces of paper. They all had different meanings. Quickly explain it to me. Sign my name, sign my name, sign my name, initial here, date here, blah, blah, blah. And then wired the money to pay for the down payment. And right now, um, I'm actually just waiting for everything to kind of go through. They've got to email it, send copies, make sure this, verify that. And um, once they completely verify everything, then they will give me the keys to the house. So they were like, it might take a while, so y'all could go eat lunch or something, and then we'll call you when it goes through, and y'all can come back, and then you can get the keys to the house. So that's why we uh, got Zaya back from my grandma, and we're about to go eat lunch and also use this time to run a few errands. I think we're gonna head over to West Elm, um, some furniture and stuff that I need to look at. But the paperwork is done. So we're kind of, it's not, it doesn't feel official to me until I get the keys. I think that's what it is. I don't really feel special right now. So we're at West Elm. I came here to look at a dupe for a bed at Restoration Hardware that I thought I was gonna get. So I've been looking at a, an expensive bed at Restoration Hardware. I don't even wanna tell y'all how much the bed costs. And I've been thinking about it, thinking about it. Do I really wanna get it from there? But then my mom discovered that here at West Elm, they have a very, very similar bed, but I was worried about the colors that it comes in. This is a swatch of the bed from Restoration Hardware, the expensive one. So I already knew that these colors were perfect, but then I just came here at West Elm and they actually have a very, very similar color that the bed comes in. It's not exact, but I feel like it's close enough. You know, for how much money I would save, I feel like it still goes with the carpet. Depending on how, like the lighting, it almost looks like this one matches better. So this right here is showing the price for the smaller queen bed with the lower headboard. I'm gonna get the taller headboard on a king size bed. This would be my actual total price with tax and shipping and everything. I would say about half the price of the bed I was already looking at at Restoration Hardware. So it's a huge price savings. I need curtain rods and curtains. So I'm thinking about brass curtain rods with white linen curtains. Those are the exact chairs we had in our living room when I was growing up. Just a different color leather. But that was back in the real 70s. That was, no, that was like 60s. 60s? A lot of stuff in here is like 60s, 70s inspired. Desi Perkins has these, but she spray painted the thing black since it's kind of that gray color. But yeah, I was looking at this, this one, that one. What do you think, I should just go ahead and get this bed, or do you think I need to double check I think swatches? Get just get it. Okay, so I went ahead and just bought the bed from West Elm. I was like, you know what? The color matches, the style matches good enough, the price is much better. Plus they're having a 20% off sale today that I didn't even know about, so that was super lucky. So I went ahead and ordered it. Um, unfortunately, it is a custom order, so it will not be arriving to my house until September. <laughs> <laughs> so don't know where I'm gonna be sleeping until the, I mean, I have, I'll be fine. But um, now I am going to Restoration Hardware still because I do still want some other furniture from there, my dresser and I think my nightstands. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and order that today. So I'm spending a little bit more on some stuff, save some money on some other stuff. It's a balance. And then I just got a call from my builder saying that everything went through in terms of um, all the closing stuff and my payment. So he's like, we have your keys for you. You can come pick up your keys. <laughs> so <laughs> after I go order this other furniture, we're gonna go get the keys and yeah. <laughs> These are the keys to my new house. I'm not gonna show you too much of the house right now. So we're just gonna keep Frame, but got the keys. Obviously, I'm inside the house. The keys work. Just used my new key for the first time. And now I want to see what's in this gift that they gave me. I didn't even think they were giving me any type of gift. And then when I saw the gifts from Tiffany, I was like, what? So this is just from the builder. It's a really heavy glass. What are these things called? 
decanter. Decanter. Ooh, from your brown liquor. I have to fill this up and put it on display. Nice. Nice. A Tiffany decanter. My first housewarming gift. Watch out, Zaya. So my brother, my own personal moving company is bringing my, these are light fixtures. So this one's for the entryway, this one's for the, um, over the kitchen table. These two are for right there. Okay, so like I said, I went ahead and ordered the bed from West Elm today. This is the color of the bed, so I got that. And then this is just like the carpet that matches with that. And then we went to Restoration Hardware. I ended up ordering the nightstands and the dresser. And then I also got chairs to go with my table that's gonna be in here. I already got the table from Z Gallery. So the chairs are gonna be this wooden frame on the chairs. It's like a gray wood and I picked this fabric. So it's kind of a natural off-white tone. So this is gonna be for the chairs. But yeah, you guys, I got the keys to my house. I'm starting to already bring stuff into the house. I don't know what else to say, it's done. I am finally, officially a homeowner. I officially, well, I guess I don't officially live here yet, but the house is officially mine. This is what you guys have been waiting for and now I just have to move in and then get up, get all the rest of my furniture. I mean, I still have a lot to do. I still have, I'm, it's kind of all hitting me now that I still have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to do, but that means that you guys have a lot of videos that you guys are gonna be able to watch because I'm gonna be documenting the whole entire process. My next video is going to be showing you guys a lot of things that are gonna be installed because although the house is finished, like I said before, I am upgrading, changing, installing some stuff. So light fixtures, plumbing fixtures, mirrors, curtains, blinds. I mean, there's a lot of finishing touches to add on to the house to really kind of make it my own. And I'm going to be showing you guys all the stuff that I'm adding on. And then of course, I'm going to be doing an empty house tour so you guys can actually finally see the finished products of me building this house before I start Furnishing everything because of course furnishing is going to take a long time. I don't plan on being done uh, With the decorating and the furnishing probably for like two years like I'm not kidding Like it's gonna take me like two years to get all the furniture all the decorations all the artwork all the everything for every room So don't expect like a finished decorated house tour anytime soon But I will be taking you guys room by room as I kind of slowly add things on so that's why first I just wanted to do an empty house tour. So that is coming up next. Get excited. I'm excited to finally show you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Give me a thumbs up if you are excited that I'm finally about to move into this house. Subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.